What's going on guys? My name is Link and welcome back to Adventures with Link. Today we're taking a look at my Honda Rebel 1100 as we're going to be replacing that crappy little stock horn with this great thing over here, the Denali Sound Bomb Mini. I've already got it unboxed and everything. It is gigantic compared to what's stock. It should sound a lot better, be a lot louder, be a lot safer. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Perfect. Okay guys, so we're just going to take a look at the stock horn here for a second. It's pretty loud, but it's not that loud when you're riding. That is the stock horn. Not too loud, especially when you're riding. Not loud enough. So we're going to be replacing it with this Denali Sound Bomb Mini. I believe that's what it is, right? Yep, Sound Bomb Mini. It comes with the horn right here, and then it comes with this little bracket and a bolt in case you need to use that, which we probably will. And all you need is a 10 millimeter wrench. I got a socket set here to make things a little bit easier, but we're going to go ahead and take off the stock one. And then it's just going to be this bolt right here. All right, you loosen it a little bit. Let's see if I can do finger now. Come on, buddy. Get that off of there. And there we go. Let's see. And then these should be pretty simple to just pop on off let me see here 20 minutes later all right guys and we're back so it took a little bit of finagling but i found that grabbing a flathead screwdriver and kind of shoving it in there to push those connectors off really helped get that off of there so we've got the stock horn off of there now i don't know if we're going to end up you we might try see if we can use the stock bracket right here because it's nice and black instead of that silver one and it's got that little rubber mallet right there so we're going to see if we can't reuse that if we can that would be fantastic let's go ahead and grab our sound bomb mini up here here and they said to make sure that it faces down we'll grab that just to be safe get back down here so if we do that and yes so it will fit with the t-rex racing harness or t-rex racing uh crash guards there so let's see can we use any of the stock hardware on this it does it threads awesome so you can use the provided harness from Denali which to me I would not use because it is silver instead I'm going to use the stock one because it's nice and black will match everything and this provides a little bit of dampening for the horn put that bad boy on there let's get the lock washer on there and that from the stock one because yep it will thread awesome so I think if we keep it like that put it on here let's see if we put it back on there yeah I think that'll work out pretty good guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up like that so it's kind of in line we're gonna grab our wrench here make sure that that is nice and snug um, all right and we do have those to worry about actually so let's loosen it a little bit with that just a little bit I think that should provide enough space for it just a little bit I think that should provide enough space for it now the horn we're gonna get this in here I'm gonna get that pushed up on there same with this one get it pushed on I think we're good on that oh it's a little bit tight ooh it's a little bit tight we can't pull those wires out just a little bit don't know if we're gonna be able to actually hang on okay it's on there enough to where it's resting on that so let's see yeah these cables don't read they're just a little bit short um let's see what are going to be our options for that because the only option really at that point is to put it upside down i mean we could it did say to keep it to have it facing down it's a little frustrating i think what i'm gonna do guys for now is we're gonna have it facing up which denali doesn't recommend they recommend it having it down which i'm sure is for you know sound reasoning and the way that it's supposed to sound we're gonna have it facing up for now and then what i'll do is look at getting like some extension so if we do it this way that should give us more than enough clearance. A 
Or what if we have it? This way. Yeah, because the main issue I'm concerned about not having it down is water. And you know, you don't want water getting into the horn. That will just, you know, mess things up tremendously. So yeah, I think we'll do it that way for now. And then I'll look into getting some extensions. I think that would be a good thing that Denali could probably include in these. Probably not that much. But again, I don't know. I'm not a, you know, manufacturer of stuff. So I don't know. Oops. I don't know how expensive that could be. Give me that back. I want that in there to keep these things lined up correctly. And so... Looks like the best bet for now, if you don't have the extensions, have it lined up like that. It gets tight enough to where I can adjust. There we go. Get it tight enough. Ooh, where did that just go? I'm just dropping stuff here, guys. Don't mind me. Let's see. I want to make sure this is nice and tight. Okay, that's nice and tight now. So, we're going to use that stock stuff again. Oh, and I just hit my helmet. Alright, so we're going to use the stock hardware again, going right there. Okay. Going to get this. Here, let's go with the farther one first. Going to get this plugged in. If I can see. Let's see. Get that cable plugged in. Right there. Same with right there. Okay, there we go. Cable is nice and plugged in. I think that's as tight as it's going to get. Alright, so we got it nice and tight on there, guys. So, like we were talking about in the instructions, you want that thing facing down, but those stock wires right there on the Rebel 1100 are a little bit too short for that. I'm going to look into getting some extensions that will help resolve that issue, but for now, it looks good. Give it a shot. Make sure it works. Okay, yeah, that is a lot louder, guys. So I do like that a lot. It is in the stock position, which is great. Um, all we need to do is get some extensions so that way we can get those wires routed. I might be able to pull them out more. I'm not sure. They kind of run under the engine, so I don't know where exactly those go. I'm not too worried about water getting there in there because I don't really ride during the rain. I am still going to look into getting those uh, wire extensions so that way it is facing the correct way like it's supposed to be. As of right now, it's installed. It looks good. Tell me what you guys think if you guys will end up getting this yourself. And and uh, yeah, if you liked the video, like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace out.